In this video, I'm going to go over one of the most unstoppable passing plays in all of Madden 19. You can run this play pretty much the entire game, and your opponent will never have a clue on how to stop it. If you want to see that and more, stick around. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Madden Money Shot with another Madden 19 money play. This play right here, in my opinion, is the best passing play in the entire game. It's the Saints Fork, the play right there in the middle. Um, I showed this play last year, but just like every year, Madden makes certain tweaks. So I got to make certain tweaks back to make plays work. So um, this play is no different. I'm going to make adjustments here that you've never seen before if you did see this play. So stick around. We're going to go and we're going to pick this play, and then we're going to go ahead. We're going to pick random on defense because it doesn't matter what defense I'm up against. This play is going to work regardless i would say on any given time four routes on this play get open uh and i'm just gonna i'm just gonna shred this defense regardless so the adjustments are simple i'm only really gonna make two adjustments one adjustment is gonna be the same every time i'm gonna put the x route on a slant because i don't want that route to stop the other adjustment is the a route the tight end i have multiple options when it comes to the uh, the tight ends route i typically will put them on a streak but I found that this year, if you put them on a slant, especially against cover three and the way that these zones turn into man so often, that uh, the A route really can get open, as well as pull coverage down to get the, uh, the B route open more often. The B route is definitely the most consistent route that I'm going to be looking for uh, to get open, but the A route is probably number two. And the A route, like I said, it's pretty much your option. You can either streak them or you can put them on a slant. You can even put them on an out route, although I feel like the out route most routes outside get covered better this year. I think that's by design. Madden wants more plays over the middle. So I kind of just disregarded that. Uh, but like I said, typically cover two, I'm going to send A on a streak a lot of times, especially here. He'll split that cover two. You can see how he just gets in between. And even though the linebacker was following, he just couldn't keep up. And this isn't even a great tight end. So I don't think that I have, you know, this isn't Jimmy, Jimmy Graham anymore. This is like Josh Hill or something like that. Somebody not too great. Like I said, cover threes, um, I'll put that slant out there. Uh, I think that was a cover three. I'm not entirely sure. I don't want to say that could have been a man. But either way, uh, it will work in cover threes where it will pull that coverage. And then, like I said, those cover twos are just going to be wide open because these receivers will spread these safeties so wide. Uh, if you watched any of my gameplays last year, I had so many touchdowns where I was just tossing it up to A right up to cover two, especially if they try to you know, bring the safeties down and whatnot. It works against cover four too because a lot of times cover four uh, safeties kind of suck in to try to stop the run and, and they'll just burn them, uh, even though there's no running back, but that's just the design of the cover four. I didn't really go over the um, the uh, outside route, which is again the A route. That route right there gets open quite a bit too. Um, you kind of have to throw them in the break this year. Like I said, these zones cover outside a lot better than they did last year. But if you throw it on their break, uh, they can typically you can typically throw the receiver open. I'll try to I'll try to find a good scenario where I can throw to the X. It's actually the RB button, not the A button. But you can see right there, he looks like he's open, but he's actually covered. That's that's the way that this route works this year. What you have to do is you have to throw it in the break. I'm going to try to do it again. Hopefully, I get look like right. He's right tight right there. But if I throw it at the right time, he just busts open. It's that simple. Um, I'll try to do that again here in a minute if I if the coverage warrants it. Once again, he's right in his hip pocket. You throw it when he makes his cut, and boom, he's wide open. So um, just make sure that you throw that ball to throw the receiver open rather than throwing it when you think he's open because you can get in trouble. Uh, like right there, once again, throwing it when he makes his break. That's the way to do it. And if you have a nice speed guy there like Gin is, you can take a nice catch and run a long way. Uh, but there's there's really Really, you know three four routes on this play that are open all the time um, the one outside route I'm not even sure what button it is because I don't use it <laughs> the Y but the Y route there he's I will never throw his way he is not in the reprogression at all it pretty much goes you know pre-diagnosing the play obviously but a is one of the hottest routes he's gonna be open again here uh, I'm tossing it up I probably shouldn't be tossing it up because it is a zone but you can see tight ends are you know they're gonna make those tough catches because they're big guys um, I, I would like to say you know, the reprogression to me is hard because every route gets open. The four routes that I mentioned all get open so often and so consistently. It's really hard for me to pick one route and say that's the reprogression like I typically do in my videos. But um, I would say that the A route being as flexible as it is is probably the first read because you can basically set up however you want to but um, there's so many good routes uh, and like I said the most consistent the B route is probably the most consistent to get open so be watching that you're really just watching one guy if he drops down on that underneath cutting route the over the top route's going to be open if he drops back to the over to the to the uh, B route then obviously the X route underneath is going to be open but but everything here just gets so wide open so try this play out if you guys want to see more plays like this or more plays out of the Saints playbook or whatever playbook let me know in the comment section 
or with a like. And that's it. Thanks for watching Mad Moist Shit Out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.